Did you know that glaucoma is one of the leading causes of irreversible blindness worldwide? But here's the good news. The right eye drops can help slow down its progression and protect your vision. However, not all eye drops are the same. So, how do you choose the best one for your condition? In today's video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know. Covering the different types of glaucoma eye drops, how they work, their side effects, and crucial tips to make sure you're using them effectively. Stay tuned till the end because I'll also reveal a simple but scientifically proven method to make your eye drops more effective. Glaucoma is a group of eye diseases that cause damage to the optic nerve, often due to increased intraocular pressure (IOP). Think of it like this. Imagine your eye is a sink where fluid continuously flows in and drains out. In glaucoma the drain gets partially or completely blocked, causing a buildup of pressure that slowly damages the optic nerve, leading to vision loss. The scary part? Glaucoma has no symptoms in its early stages. That's why it's often called the silent thief of sight. But with early treatment, especially with the right eye drops, you can manage the condition effectively and preserve your vision for years to come. Now let's break down the different types of glaucoma eye drops. Each works in a unique way so choosing the right one depends on your specific condition. 1. Prostaglandin analogs. Latinoprost, Travoprost, Bimetoprost, and Tafluprost are the examples of prostaglandin analogs. If your doctor prescribes this, it's likely because prostaglandin analogs are among the most effective and convenient treatments for glaucoma. These are often the first-line treatment for glaucoma because they are highly effective and require only one drop per day. They can reduce intraocular pressure by 25 to 30 percent and work for up to 24 hours, making them convenient for once daily use. However, there are some side effects to be aware of. These can include eye redness, which is common but reduces over time, darkening of the iris, especially in people with light-colored eyes, and increased eyelash growth, which some consider a benefit. You might also experience a mild stinging or itching sensation. Who should avoid these drops? People with a history of uveitis or macular edema should avoid these drops, as they can worsen inflammation. If your doctor prescribes this, it's likely because prostaglandin analogs are among the most effective and convenient treatments for glaucoma. 2. Beta blockers. Timolol, levobunolol, and bedaxolol are the examples of beta blockers. Beta blockers are effective but can have systemic effects so they are not recommended for people with respiratory or heart conditions. These drops reduce the production of aqueous humor, lowering intraocular pressure. They were the gold standard before prostaglandins became the first choice. Beta blockers can lower IOP by 20 to 25 percent and work within 30 minutes of application. However, they can lower heart rate and blood pressure, cause fatigue, dizziness and shortness of breath, and may worsen asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. Who should avoid these drops? Patients with asthma, COPD or heart conditions, and people who experience low blood pressure or bradycardia should avoid these drops. 3. Alpha agonists. Bremonidine and apiclonidine are the examples of alpha agonists. Alpha agonists are often used as an add-on treatment when prostaglandins or beta blockers alone are not enough. They reduce fluid production and improve drainage making them a dual action treatment for glaucoma. Alpha agonists can lower IOP by 15 to 20 percent and work quickly, making them useful for short-term IOP control. However, they can cause side effects such as dry mouth and fatigue, allergic reactions like redness, itching and inflammation, and can cause low blood pressure or drowsiness. Who should avoid these drops? Patients with low blood pressure or depression should avoid these drops, as they can affect the central nervous system. 4. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Dorzolamide, brinzolamide and acetazolamide are the examples of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. These drops are usually a secondary choice when first-line treatments do not work well enough. These drops reduce the production of aqueous humor by inhibiting the carbonic anhydrase enzyme, lowers the intraocular pressure by 15 to 20 percent, and also can be used in combination with other drops. However, they can cause side effects such as bitter taste in the mouth, stinging or burning sensation, and rare case allergic reactions. 5. Rho kinase inhibitors. Netorsudol is the examples of the Rho kinase inhibitors. Rho kinase inhibitors relax the trabecular meshwork, allowing better drainage of fluid. Rho kinase inhibitors lowers the IOP by 20 to 25 percent and works best in patients with open angle glaucoma. Its common side effect is eye redness and sometimes may cause mild discomfort. Though newer, these drops are showing promising results. 
especially in patients who don't respond well to other treatments. 6. Combination Eye Drops Simbinza, Cosopt, and Combigan are the examples of the combination eye drops. Combination drops are great because they offer two benefits in one bottle reducing the number of medications you need to use. The most important step? Always follow your ophthalmologist's advice and never switch eye drops without consulting them. Now that we've covered the different types of eye drops, let's talk about how to choose the right one for glaucoma. Here are some key factors to consider. Severity of glaucoma. If your eye pressure is very high you may need stronger medications like prostaglandin analogs. Your overall health. If you have asthma or heart conditions, beta blocker eye drops may not be the best choice for you. Possible side effects. Some eye drops can cause redness, irritation, or even changes in eye color. Cost and insurance coverage. Certain medications can be expensive so it's always a good idea to ask your doctor about more affordable options. Combination therapy. If a single type of eye drop isn't enough to control your condition, your doctor may prescribe a combination of two different medications. The most important thing to remember? Always follow your ophthalmologist's advice and never switch eye drops without consulting them first. Before we wrap up, let's go over some quick tips on how to use eye drops properly. Using eye drops the right way ensures they work effectively and reduces side effects. 1. Wash your hands first to prevent infection. 2. Tilt your head back and gently pull down your lower eyelid. 3. Squeeze one drop into the small pocket of your lower eyelid. Avoid dropping it directly onto your eye. 4. Close your eyes for 1-2 minutes to allow the medication to absorb properly. 5. Wait at least 5 minutes before applying another drop if you're using multiple medications. So, to recap, did you find this information helpful? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want more eye health tips, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.